If I asked each one of you to think of a bird flying formation type right now, I'm sure you could picture at least one. But have you ever wondered why birds like to fly in formation? The reasons are not just social or behavioral, but also physical, stemming from the aerodynamic interactions between birds. This is also of interest to many different fields, to applied mathematics, physics, biology, but also engineering, uh, with applications from flow energy harvesting and efficient propulsion. This kind of research falls into what is known as collective locomotion, basically how animals like to move together in groups. With collaborators in New York University, we studied one particular formation, the linear formation, so where birds fly in a straight line, one behind the other. And to study this in the lab, we use these rhombotic flocks, which are basically mimicking these bird formations by representing the wings by 3D printed airfoils that are being flapped up and down with a certain frequency and amplitude inside the water tank. We now ask the following, what would happen to the free propulsion dynamics which are emergent from the flow interactions between these flapping foils? When each of the flyers is flapping their wings, they create a flow disturbance which is known as a vortex wake. And this vortex wake forces the members after this flyer. To study these properties, we developed a mathematical model, which is dynamical, and keeps track of the thrust and drag forces that are acting on each flyer. And with this model, we were able to infer what would happen in the case of arbitrarily many flyers. So we found this very interesting special type of traveling wave that does not only propagate down the group, but in doing so, it also grows in amplitude. So this means that if you go to even four or ten flyers, what you would observe is that the later members start oscillating more and more, and you can even get collisions between the different flyers. So this leads us to some big insight. This tells us that when you observe in the sky these very long columnar formations of geese and cranes, it means that they have probably some active sensing or feedback control mechanism that allows them not to collide to one another. So I would like to remind you next time you look in the sky and you look into one of these formations, remember that there is some very beautiful mathematics behind it.